Ladies and gentlemen, I once again welcome you to another exciting edition of Sports Fellas Daily Updates. What are the prefaces of today's updates? You'll be looking at the latest updates on Mohamed Kudu's violent conduct against Tottenham Hospital. The verdicts coming out and also his move to Arsenal, per the rumors coming in. We can't go on this update without talking about the player who is in the pole position to win the 2024 Calf Player of the Year Award. Adimo Lalukman, he had a standout performance today at the Diago Armando Maradona Stadium in Italy against Napoli. He scored twice. I will get into this video, but before that, please subscribe to the channel, click on the post notification bell for more updates. Don't forget to like this video and share to other social media platforms. Leave your decent comments in the comment box. Let's get into the video. The star boy, Mohamed Kudus, the star boy for West Ham United and the live lawyer for Ghana Black Stars, still awaits for his tribunal decision on his violent conduct against Tottenham Hotspur, a violent conduct against Mickey Van Der Veen and Papi Saab. And from the latest coming in, as at yesterday, from the strategic and operational football head of JLV Media and TBL Football, Mr. Grimmy Bailey, is that Kudus might serve additional or extra matches ban. That is what he is getting. Or a head in the West Ham team has reported to him as in Kudus seven extra matches ban. Just because of his red card against Mickey Van der Been being three matches suspension. Yes, Kudus has already served two matches ban and is yet to add another match ban. That is a match against Everton. Kudus will miss that match. Just after you were thinking, since a verdict has not come out from the England FA, then Kudus can move on or return to the pitch to play for West Ham United against Newcastle United against Arsenal and the others. But per what he's saying, the verdicts will be in latest by the early stages of this week. So we are waiting for maybe Monday, Tuesday, the verdict or the decision, the tribunal decision from the England FA, the extra ones for Mohamed Kudus. Is it even going to be? If not, is it still that Kudus will be serving as a red card suspension for three matches? Whatever transpires, sports fella gets you posted on this platform. So in the camp of Mohamed Kudus, the rumors coming in this morning in UK from the Sunday people is that Kudus might join Arsenal this January transfer window just because Arsenal wants to sign Kudus when their player Leandro Trossard leave the club because other clubs are very interested in Leandro Trossard and clubs from the Saudi Arabian Pro League, especially Al Isiad, has been reported to submit a hefty amount of 40 million pounds for Trossard. If then the best replacement for Trossard at Arsenal as at from January to the summer transfer window is Mohamed Kudus. And the reported amount coming in is a colossal amount of 90 million pounds for Mohamed Kudus from West Ham United to Arsenal in the January transfer window. I've already reported severally on this platform that Mohamed Kudus release clause could be activated next summer. If yes, and it's been activated, meaning any club that pays an amount of 85 million pounds could have Mohamed Kudus joining his club. And if so, Arsenal come in with 90 million pounds. Yes, I think this amount of money can lure West Ham United to leave Mohamed Kudus to join Arsenal. So that is a rumor coming in from UK, from the Sunday people, one of the leading tabloids in England. We will still get you posted on whatever transfer about Mohamed Kudus leaving West Ham United January transfer to join Arsenal. Let me move from the camp of Mohamed Kudus. Yes, we have to talk about our African players. They are doing well. I'm a Ghanaian, but I have to also talk about my Nigerian boys. They are performing super and extra for their various clubs. And today, I can't leave this update without talking about the poster boy, Atimula Lukman. He had a standout performance today at the Diago Armando Maradona Stadium. He scored brace against Napoli. He scored on the 10th minute and on the 31st minute. What a player to watch. Adimola Lukman, looking at his prolific goal scoring and creativity, has propelled Adimola Lukman to go at the top of the Sierra goals contribution in the year 2024. He's super performing as of the year 2024. From January to November, Adimola Lukman is leading the tally with goals contributions, meaning the assists and the goals. He has scored 16 goals this very year with 11 assists. His goals contribution in the year 2024 for Atalanta Cassio 
is 27 goals. He is leading and looking at his performance, he has risen to occasion against the top performing clubs, the elite clubs, the renowned clubs in Italy, clubs like Juventus, Fiorentina, and also Napoli. This season, I stand to be corrected, but he has played six times against Napoli. He has scored four times against Napoli, and he has played four times against Juventus this very year. He has scored twice and assisted once. He has also played six games against Fiorentina. He has scored five times and assisted three times. What a player with remarkable tally. Yes, there is no doubt. Undoubtedly, I say and I will say and repeat it that Adimola Lukman is my favorite African player of the year 2024. There is no doubt. He is in the pole position. Arguably, you can talk about who to be the African player of the year. But from my preference and my opinion, the facts will be established when um, the time is due for them to vote or come out or announce who is the African player of the year. But for now, what a guy he's doing, even though he has been nominated based on his previous performances, he's doing well. Scoring against the LS clubs is not even easy. He's a guy that I've noticed something from him, even when he was in uh, the middle clubs like Everton and Fulham in England. He scored against Liverpool. He ascended against Liverpool. He scored against Manchester City and the whole big clubs in England. That is the guy. It's the time for him to be rewarded. He was being ranked as the 14th best player in the world among 30 shortlisted players, of which he said he's not in into individual accolades. He's just about helping the team or his country to get to the level. And there's a time I think Atimola Lukman deserves the African Player of the Year award. I'll talk much about him, why he should win this award, various successes surrounding this award for Atimola Lukman and the others. Before I end my thoughts on Atimola Lukman's performance this very year at the CER, let me just talk about his performance today at the Diego Armando Maradona Stadium. He played 76 minutes. He scored twice on the 10th and 31st minutes. He had zero assists with two shots on targets, one shot off targets, and zero shot blocked. He had 51 touches with 30 out of 36 passing accuracy, representing 83%. His so far statistical rating was 8.9. So from what he had, among the players on the field, he was the highest rated player, Ati Mola Lukman. I will end my presentation here. I want was being supported by my hardworking chief editor, Emmanuel Kwame Asedu, an amazing graphic designer. Let's meet in the next video. It's bye for now.